what do you see here? That guy's knee is huge. Yeah, this is a knee effusion, but here it comes. Tell me as many causes for a swollen knee as you can starting now. Septic arthritis and I've totally forgotten. You just need a system, but don't worry, I'm gonna teach you how to never forget it if you tell me in the comments below the shape of the crystals found in pseudo gout. All you need to remember is that word you just said, septic. By the way, if you're wanting to smash your differentials for your exams or when you're being grilled on a ward round, then you may be interested in my brand new guide, Never Forget Differentials. Comment the word diagnosis and I'll send you a free page. Septic can help you to remember some broad categories. Sepsis, trauma, inflammatory, and chronic. Septic, the most important. Never forget to think about septic arthritis because it can erode a joint within 24 hours. Trauma, for example, we're thinking hemarthrosis or some ligamentous tears. I is inflammation, particularly the crystallopathies. Gout and pseudogouts are the main ones to consider. And chronic, that's mainly to remind you of osteoarthritis. But we can also think of other soft tissues like Baker's cysts or bursitis. And now you know. So let me know in the comments below the shape of the crystal found in pseudogout. And there's another patient I want to show you, but you're going to have to follow me to come see them next.